Hey gang, Dr. Matt here. Wanted to do a video today about how to use the Blue Sky Bio desktop scanner, the BioDS 3D, and how to use its software and kind of start to finish on scanning a model and then bringing it into Blue Sky Plan to plan the ortho. Now this is a patient that was in a liner therapy um, that was not tracking. Um, compliance was kind of an issue and then COVID happened so we're just starting fresh with the lower and it'd be a really good almost like a lower relapse case because we made a lot of um, advancement so I wanted to show I'm so I'm just going to scan the lower model here and so you can see how, how the model is rendered here I usually do intraoral scans but um, if the scanner is wrapped up and unavailable then we just take some quick putty wash um, uh, impressions some H&H &H impressions I pour them up traditionally and then I scan them in and it's super easy that way so we'll time-lapse this Okay, so we want to make sure that we have good extension around the teeth here. We want at least two millimeters around. Looking pretty good there. Okay, cool. And then we're going to crop that down because we don't need all that. So we'll do that. And we'll go to crop. Move my little timer over here so we can keep a running clock. All right, I use the lasso tool, and we want to lasso what we want to keep. Some software is you're lassoing what you want to cut but in here we're lassoing what we want to keep okay looks good all right so we're going to export those okay now We'll bring up Blue Sky Plan. All right, we're going to start marking teeth here. Close the model. Make sure 
sure model closed okay. Looks good. Okay. Okay, and we're just segmenting the teeth, but as you can tell, the software does a pretty decent job. A lot quicker than what it used to be, that is for sure. Um, yeah, these uh, upgrades uh, that they've been doing on the software have been very, very nice. So you can see she already has attachments. I won't be doing new attachments. Um, those will still be fine and give us enough leverage points. Bringing down these down just a bit more. There we go. Okay, now I just want to make sure I'm not above anything 0.5 in the posterior or 0.3 in the anterior, and we're looking pretty good there.
And here you would add buttons if you were doing so, but um, I've already had buttons on here, so there's no real need for me to do it anymore. Even though we've lost the detail, um, I don't think it's going to change the tracking all that much. So I'm gonna, not going to say attachments, but you would usually in this case. So there we go. All right, so 15 minutes in, um, that's what we're looking at, and uh, there we go. I will apply the text, and And that's it. So, you know, um, this is a nice little thing to be able to do. Um, eventually, if you have an assistant that's trained up in this, that's the ideal thing is to have an or, uh, ortho champion. But here it took me about 15 minutes start to finish uh, over my lunch break. And then that's about it. So there we go.